Okay, so this is um, the first half of a two-part video, and the first part that we're going to talk about is, um, in the second part, I'm actually going to um, assemble one of these um, cassettes or one of these flow cartridges. So within here, there is a cassette. So when we talk about a cassette, um, I, what we've actually got here is, for example, and you can hardly see it, and that's a good thing, it's a um, piece of silicon with a nanopore right in the middle of it and that nanopore might be on the um, might be on the order of something like 30 nanometers in diameter and what we're going to do in a bit is we're going to sandwich um, the silicon between two o-rings and the o-rings are going to sit in this well like this and then we're going to end up clamping down on top like that so then that we're applying pressure and we're sort of sealing um, the nanopore between the two o-rings and then eventually we're going to mount it into here um, in order to sort of hold the cassette so effectively actually what happens is when you unscrew here this is the um, this is the flow cell and the cassette's going to sit in there so in summary we'll do a video of us assembling it in a minute um, piece of silicon with a 30 nanometer in this example a 30 nanometer nanopore in it two o-rings which get clamped into what's called a cassette and the cassette then sits inside um, a flow cell and when it's all clamped together it looks like this so as I say there'll be a second part of this in a minute where we'll um, I'll have a go at assembling that okay okay so this is the second part of the video that I mentioned so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, mount the, um, the piece of silicon with the nanopore in, in it. I'm going to use a blunt object because I don't want to damage the seals. So I'm just showing you just very quickly how to mount. So you can go and make a cup of tea while I do this. What I'll do now is I will push down, which I've done. So now what I'm going to do is finish um, constructing the cassette. And it all looks so simple, but it, I mean, the years of engineering that have gone into making all this, you know, really easy. Um, I mean, you know, there, there's years of research gone into this. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to put the, the, um, the other screw in. And it's kind of twist one side, twist the other side. You don't want to over tighten on one side and, you know, and then start doing the other side. You, you basically want to get them even. So I'm just going to get them down quite softly and then I will sort of keep transferring the, so that's sort of in and that one's sort of in and then come back and do the other one. Because in the end, this seal is really important because if you don't have a good seal here, you've got a flow path that's, uh, that's other than just the nanopore itself. And then that's really going to, um, mess up your experimental results so I could just feel a bit of tension kicking in now you can see I'm not using you know a big wrench on this you know I'm just just tightening up right so we're good there now I'm not going to necessarily do this now but I wouldn't I do want to talk about wetting the joy of this device is the, the um, is the material selection which um, happens to be Teflon and the shape of these um, let's say wells means that you can first of all put in a bit of ethanol that helps the initial wetting then maybe put in a bit of buffer and as long as you just leave in small volumes it will actually stay within there and you can do the similar thing on the back side as well so that really helps you sort of wet the device up so the cassette then we've talked about um, in the first part of the video that it actually goes into the um, flow cell and that's what I'm doing here it's very hard to actually get this wrong And it's really because when something looks simple, you can you can actually assume that there's been a lot of um, work gone into making it simple for you. So one of the biggest issues um, in the nanopore world is actually you know this kind of fluidics part. It's one thing having a nanopore, but it's then how do you actually make decent connection to it? You can see me just tightening it up like that, and then the next procedure then is you can start. 
um, there's a flow cell version of this or this one you can almost, I call it almost like batch but you can put a liquid here and you can put liquid here so then you have a nanopore and liquid either side and then you can put the um, silver silver chloride electrodes in here and here so that allows you to apply the the voltage or the stimulus across the nanopore so you can also get those from um, Zimmer and Peacock as well so in summary um, what have we talked about today we talked about the um, the silicon nanopores that you can get via Zimmer and Peacock from nanopore we talked about constructing the cassette and then we've talked about putting the cassette within the flow cell and then you've really got a really nice um, cartridge at this point which you can start doing your experiments on and the real value add is actually the experiment it's not constructing your own um, nanopores it's not making your own holders it's doing the science and this is what really accelerates you on that part so if you have any questions you can contact us um, Zimmer and Peacock or Nanopore and we'll be happy to support you okay thanks very much